हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स हैव अ सर डिस्कशन ऑन इन्वर्टेड पैपिलोमा सो इन्वर्टेड पैपिलोमा आर आल्सो नोन एज ट्रांजिशनल सेल पैपिलोमा रिंगर्स ट्यूमर और सिंडेरियन पैपिलोमा इट इज अ ट्यूमर ऑफ द नॉन अल्फैक्ट्री म्यूकोसा ऑफ द नोज और आल्सो कॉल एज सिंडेरियन मेम्ब्रेन हेंस द नेम गिवन सिंडेरियन पैपिलोमा सो इट अराइजेस फ्रॉम द मैक्सिलरी साइनस ओपनिंग or the frontal recess area why is it called inverted it is called inverted because the hyperplastic papillomatous tissue grows into the stroma rather than in exophytic manner as we know that this inverted papilloma is a benign tumor it is a locally aggressive benign tumor so what happens when there is growth of any tumor or any hyperplastic tissue the growth is towards the upper side okay in exophytic manner but what happens here is that this inverted papilloma grows into the stroma hence the name inverted papilloma the causative organism is human papilloma virus the host is male more than female and of is 40 to 70 years and average we can tell 55 years it is almost always unilateral and presents with nasal obstruction nasal discharge and epistaxis okay so here we can make a case so male 40 to 70 years having unilateral nasal obstruction nasal discharge and epistaxis then we can suspect it of being inverted papilloma okay it is almost always unilateral and when we have mass in our nose what are the symptoms we will have obviously there will be some obstruction cause it is blocking the pathway also it will block the pathway of for the drainage of the nasal mucosa so there will be nasal discharge and uh, here we have tumor so there will be epistaxis so it can invade the sinus or the orbit also okay when there is involvement of the orbit then we can see the features like proptosis that is the bulging out of the eyeball diplopia that means the double vision lacrimation and on examination Uh, uh of nose in doing new while doing nose endoscopy there is pale polypoidal mass resembling simple nasal polyp so we have to differentiate it from polyp okay it looks pale and is a polypoidal mass while doing the endoscopy so for its diagnosis ct scan will be the best choice what we will see in ct scan is the hyperosteotic bone so it is thickening at the site of origin while thinning on the further side okay where there is origin of this tumor the bone will look hyperosteotic that is uh, more dense bone will be seen at the site of the origin so for uh extent of this papilloma we can do ct scan and mri the main stay treatment treatment of this inverted papilloma is the surgery okay as we have seen the mass as we have we know that it is a mass we cannot treat it by some medical approaches so surgery is the best option here so what we will do in surgery is the medial maxillectomy we can also do endoscopic or endonasal approach but the treatment of choice or the main treatment is the medical medial maxillectomy and it can be performed by lateral rhinostomy approach okay or wider external surgical approach may be required for tumor which are extending to the frontal sinus or orbit but if we talk about the treatment the main treatment is medial maxillectomy with lateral rhinostomy approach uh, so recurrence can occur and radiotherapy is not advised okay we have to remember this radiotherapy is not advised at may as it may induce malignancy rather than treating it 
so what are the points that we need to remember is it arises from the non olfactory mucosa of the nose from the maxillary sinus opening or frontal recess area it is called inverted because rather than going upwards in a exophytic manner it moves inward into the stroma causative organ is human papilloma virus it occurs more in male at the age of 40 to 70 years and is always unilateral mostly and Patient presents with nasal obstruction, nasal discharge and epistaxis and on examination, on endoscopic examination, there is appearance of a pale polypoidal mass which resembles the simple nasal polyp. On CT scan, we can see hyperosteotic bone which is the thickening at the site of the origin while thinning on the further sides. For the accident, we need to do MRI or CT scan and its main treatment or treatment of choice is medial maxillotomy with lateral rhinostopy approach. Thank you. Hope you like this video. So please subscribe for such videos. Bye-bye.